back again, beginning a new series looking at using Open Frameworks, C++ Creative Coding Toolkit, building amazing things. We're going to look at 3D, audio, graphics, interaction, physical computing, whole range of different things, uh, piece by piece, building up every week, covering super basics through to some interesting advanced stuff. And there's a whole lot of things I'm going to be exploring that I've not done before. So hopefully it'll be an interesting mission working through looking at creative coding in open frameworks. <laughs>
my apps folder, which is where my work will be. And inside there, there's a my apps folder and an empty example that we can run straight away. An add-ons folder, and these are like plugins. They're linking libraries to do all kinds of things, to do scalable vector graphics, link to the OpenCV computer vision library, um, work for Android, uh, for GPS, to build GUIs, uh, to do add-ons, vector graphics, to interface to connect sensors, a whole lot of others. And there's lots and lots of additional people that are writing and working on bridges or OFX add-ons that you can drop into this folder and include their capabilities so we can extend what we can do very easily. In the examples folder, there's some fantastic examples that you can go through that are well documented, built by the community, looking at computer vision, 3D graphics, 2D graphics, audio, uh, linking to libraries, all kinds of things. So we're going to look at the video and the audio and the sound and the 3D work piece by piece over the weeks. With your version, Mac, Windows, Linux, there's a, an install text which will explain how to go through and set up and possibly compile some of these libraries. And we're going to dive into some of that and build for OS X. The documentation is really good, so you can step through it. And if you've got any questions, please do put them into the comments on this video, or you can um, message me on the Open Frameworks forum or in the beginners folder, just go and ask. And if there's a question that you can answer, go and help somebody else as well. So we've got Open Frameworks downloaded. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and compile my empty example. So in the example folder, and your apps will be built in a similar way, you'll have an add-ons file, which will say, please include these additional libraries in case you're using them, such as a connect link or the bridge the OpenCV computer vision. Our bin file folder, which is where the binary executable that uh, Open Frameworks or C++ compiler will make, it'll put that in there. And then if we have any additional data that our application should reference, initially it'll be in the data folder. We've got configuration for making. Here's an Xcode project. So on Macintosh, I'll be using Xcode development environment, but we uh, could be using Visual Studio Code, Qt Creator, or uh, Visual Studio depending upon what your application is, but essentially we're just editing a text file. So if you're happy with any other kind of editor, you can set up a C to compile on your machine uh, using that. So I'm going to launch Xcode. And your editor will be slightly different. And I can see Xcode has found my source folder. And inside, there are three files. My header file for C, uh, which has this OF app object and inside there, helpfully, they've set up a bunch of functions that Open Frameworks understands. My C++ file, which has got all of my functions in, but not defined what they do. And then my main, which sets up a window and launches the Open Frameworks app. And of these three files, main, what we're interested really is in the header file for defining things that our program is going to do, and in the CPP file, which explains how they do them. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's see if we can compile this and run an application that makes a window and doesn't do anything. So Open Frameworks uh, is being compiled. The first time I compile it, it's going to take a little bit longer. So our build has succeeded. It's compiled correctly. And it's going to launch our first application and it builds us a window and your window will look different depending upon whether you're using Windows or Linux or something else. And there it is. There's our first C++ application using the Open Frameworks framework. And you can see it's got a basic key uh, menu, but it doesn't do anything. But we've got that structure and we know that it compiles. So we can go and have a look at some of the examples. So if I go to the examples folder, there's some great examples that we can have a look at and play with. And one of the first is, let's have a look in the 3D folder. So again, simple structure. And this time, we've got our project. And we can see in our source folder, 
we have our header file. The main file is almost identical to the one we just looked at in the example. In the header file, we've got a couple more things, different kinds of object that Open Frameworks understands, an OF image and a video grabber, and these 3D primitives, sphere, box primitive, cone, etc., and also 3D lights as objects that Open Frameworks understands. And then we make meshes. So Open Frameworks also understands a whole load of additional items, objects, as different kinds of mesh for 3D objects, camera object, for being able to make views on our scene. And in our source code, it's all defined. What's nice is there's lots of comments throughout. And if I compile this, I can see what some of the stuff that I can make with Open Frameworks might look like. Open Frameworks has compiled this 3D example and it's running away and it's looping and I've got a bunch of controls so I can make this run full screen and I can draw the shapes in different ways and I can draw them with and without wireframes and I can show the normals, rendering of lights and there's a load of different things that I can do within this demo example. So it gives you some idea of the speed and the flexibility that I can get with Open Frameworks. And what's nice is these are primitives that Open Frameworks understand. So if I want to make a sphere, I can just de define an object as a sphere. And then I can set attributes for its position in 3D space and add lighting and surface textures. Texture them. And you can see if I set the camera up, this is currently pulling in the OBS camera, but I can make it dynamically grab from my video camera and texture them in real time. I can manipulate the faces. I can texture map them with images, a whole range of different things. So super quick, download Open Frameworks from openframeworks.cc. The address is below. Try and compile the examples, get your development environment set up and have a look through the code. Ask questions in the video below. I'm really happy to comment and, and help out where I can. And also in the openframeworks.cc forum. So I will see you on the next video. Hit the subscribe button. Next time I'll be looking at uh, starting to do drawing and then we'll go into 3D and audio, a whole range of different things. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks very much.